Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. But dot com. In this video, we'll be looking at SQL XML. Amongst other things, this allows us to generate XML documents directly from SQL. The XML element function is the basic unit for turning column data into XML fragments. In this example, the two parameters represent the tag name and the tag contents. It can also be used to group together other fragments to form more complex structures. The XML attributes function converts column data into attributes of the parent element. The function call should contain one or more columns in a comma separated list. The attribute names will match the column names using the default uppercase unless an alias is used. An element can be made up of both attributes and child tags. Similar to XML attributes, the XML forest function call allows you to process multiple columns at once, but this time turning them into tags. So far, we've only been dealing with single rows. If we process multiple rows, each row produces its own fragment. The XML AG function allows us to aggregate these separate fragments into a single fragment. It's not well formed XML though, because there's no root tag. We can fix this by surrounding it with another XML element call. We can create more complex documents by nesting these structures. Here we have a department list made up of a group of departments. Each department has both attributes and child tags. One of those tags is an aggregated list of employees for the department. Notice I've limited the output to a single department just to make the XML a little smaller. Formatting the resulting XML allows us to see the internal structure. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. In the correct you, you, you scared me, Kevin. <laughs> you look like you stabbed me or something. So where is this stuff going to end up? Dot com. Dot com. Dot cloud.